Ever run out of GPIOs on your Raspberry Pi? Well, this nice little chip is the PCF8574. This specific one came uh, mounted on a board with the pins and the address and everything. And it's an I2C board. So what makes this so nice is not only does it give you eight additional pins for input and output, but it's addressable. You can modify the address um, to where you can add um, seven more of these for a total of 64 input and output pins. As you can see on the back, there's also a ninth pin for interrupt. So if you have uh, any inputs that you need to, to get your computer program to instantly react to that specific item, you can use the interrupt. Unlike normal GPIO pins, uh, these have to be on. The, these are actually the ground connections, and so you have to always give power to the first section. But there you have it. This is all from this board, and nothing, not not nothing is attached to the Raspberry Pi. Now, in order to control these with a um, I2C interface. So this is, the red wire is plugged into the 3 volt and the Pi, and all these are plugged into the ITC board. And with wiring Pi, um, all you have to do is give it the base number, um, the address, and then you can instantly digital write, like, let's say you have a base of 200, you just do uh, 205 and you get that. Uh, 200 is that. Now,